It's like a million degrees outside. Oh my gosh. And this is so heavy. The Cory 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 Cory. Basically, I've been really busy, so I haven't had time to cook. So this week, I intentionally made a lot of cooking related plans. So tonight, I have a friend coming over for dinner. And then tomorrow, I have a dinner party with a group of my friends. And this week's theme is Vietnamese food. So I literally ran to like five different supermarkets to try and find this one ingredient, which is green papaya. And I finally found it. So yeah, I'm gonna try and make a papaya salad. My favorite thing about New York Chinatown is the bakeries that you can find. Honestly, everything is so cheap. It's cash only, but it's so affordable. Romaine lettuce, bean sprouts, fish sauce. I've actually never purchased fish sauce before, but this is definitely a staple for um, Southeast Asian cuisine. The blueberries were really cheap on the stores near the streets, so I got a lot of blueberries. I'm gonna show you guys how to make Japanese tonkatsu. Katsu, katsu, katsu. So the first thing is to smash the pork. You just gotta do it so it's thin and nice and ready to be fried. Slice up some garlic and throw it in there. And then add the sauce that we need. All right. Now we prepare for the veggie. Two hours later, I'm going to start making the rice because sometimes rice actually takes a lot longer to cook these days. So, put some rice. I always overcook rice just so I can have some spare. This is what it looks like for now. Just the lettuce and the cucumber. Different angle, because we're trying to make the miso soup over here. This is both sad and exciting. I'm gonna take out a little bit of my scallions. Ooh, check out this rice. Sorry. Check out this rice. Holy shit, look at it. Ugh, so much rice. I'm like a real Asian mom. If someone comes over for dinner, I will have to make sure that I have dessert, fruit, and everything ready for them. So, and then then um, blueberry, flour, egg, and then panko. Oh my god! Flavor should we choose today? Cheers. Oh. Give this video a like if you prefer black coffee over lattes or any coffee with milk. If you guys have Nespresso, I definitely recommend getting the coconut pods. Coconut. Today for breakfast, I'm just gonna eat whatever's left over from last night. I just got back from working at a cafe and the weather report said it was going to be sunny the whole day but it started pouring so I couldn't go to my workout class. I'm going to finally make my papaya salad which I'm both nervous and excited for. So let's do that. Ooh. Is this supposed to do this? Why is it creamy? Ah. Oh it's working, it's working, it's working! Oh, 
organic sugar. I love Southeast Asian cuisine because I feel like there's so much flavor in a dish, you know? They're sweet, they're salty, they're sour, they're spicy. There's just everything. I'm very excited for this dish. Oh, so delicious. Woo! Master Chef! We are short on time right now. My hand kind of hurts. Actually, this is a bad idea because I have some blisters from climbing. And now I, I'm, it's a little bit uh, uh, painful because of the, the Thai chili. Hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> Here we go. Wait, why are these so good? So explain to them what this is. So every month, last Tuesday, we're going to host a dinner party. Oh my goodness. I hope it is. Oh my god, this is like... <gasps> I'm excited. It's such a beautiful pot. <laughs> it's definitely look bougie because, because, of... No! because of these fancy plates. <laughs> what did you make? I made ice cream. Do you want to see? Yeah. <gasps> pandan! I made pandan coconut cream, sorry, coconut milk ice cream that will go with a Vietnamese coffee. <gasps> <gasps> wow! wow. You are so Wow. wow! Put I think I like, finished in like two minutes. So good. Yeah, the coffee. Right? Isn't it so much better with coffee? Oh my god, wait. Is it gonna keep me up at night? Yeah, I'll take a bite no, because of my it. thoughts will keep me up. Stop! <laughs> I'm currently really hungover from the wine last night. The worst part about living in New York City is that people always go out, people always eat out, go grab drinks, and everything's overpriced. Like the 
，等下玉米粉，嗯，今天准备搞两个。Happy Friday, guys! I am baking cookies. Let me show you my delicious work of art. Mmm. Obviously, New York is a very expensive city to live in. Other than the rent, though, I do think restaurants, food, and activities. Can cost a lot, especially when you have a social life and people are constantly making plans. Every time they're like, "Oh, let's catch up," it's always like, "Let's get dinner, let's get lunch, let's get food." I try my best to cook a lot at home or to do other type of things. Like if I want to show my friends love, I'm not currently in the financial space to like buy them an extravagant meal, so I would invite them over so I can cook for them, or I will make. These cute little cookies and deliver it to them. Tonight I have another dinner plan at a friend's house. These are the people that are under the same club as me at NYU. Basically family. So we used to always do these little hangouts, and we're doing one tonight. Whenever I do like dinner parties or occasions where we're probably gonna eat a lot of junk food, a lot of sweets, I like to prep my stomach by eating something healthy in the morning or beforehand. So I'm gonna make a salad. Green like this shirt. Lately, I've been looking at apartment because I recently received my lease renewal from this apartment, and there's like a ninety percent chance that I'm just gonna move out because this location and everything else about this place it's really great, but it's really expensive. So I, I can't justify this kind of living. Right now, I'm fifty fifty about getting a roommate. Maybe more than fifty-fifty. Thinking about it realistically, I feel like it's financially smarter to find a roommate. So I'm actually kind of curious about what everyone's experience living with roommates is like. It's been so long since I've lived with roommates to a point where it's like I actually don't know what it would be like to live with somebody else. So I think it's an end of an era. It is really sad, but it is what it is. Again, because I don't know if I have a roommate, can I still do this where I just. Very naturally vlog and be myself because I can't really be myself when I have people around me. If my roommate gets a boyfriend or if she has a boyfriend, then like, would that be weird? Wow. 